company is called Shady Rays, and it's a direct consumer, you know, uh, sunglass company. They actually also do um, ski goggles and all. And, you know, part of it is very socially conscious company. Each purchase goes and you know provides meals for the homeless. So there's a lot of good tie-ins with that. But what I really liked was one their email mark email back and forth is great. Mm -hmm. But as I was looking. Right after I signed up, you know, I was like, yeah, sure, I want to keep in touch. I was kind of on the fence of, I didn't know anybody that had these sunglasses. Are they worthwhile to buy? And they actually have a really great uh, kind of, their hook to it is, you know, sunglasses are expensive. They don't need to be, but you can get X number of pairs if you lose or break them. Oh, okay. So That's for me, cool. someone who constantly is losing things, that is excellent. And... Uh, I really, uh, you know, kind of was like, oh, well, that's really what I'm looking for. But then they started sending me emails about, you know, hey, take a look at the rest of our products, but also here's a 20% off code. We want you to be a first time purchaser. Oh, cool. Yeah, and that really good. sold the deal. Yeah, I, I mean, I can think of other channels that have done something similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the old BOGOs don't fail either, but I think, yeah, be smart with your marketing. I think that's what it tells you, and be personable. Absolutely. So, you know, those added services that, you know, free return if they break or if you're not happy with it, these are all great little added, add additions to your already established marketing strategy. And it, it, it differentiates you, and I think this is the key, it differentiates, differentiates yourself from your competitors. Absolutely. And at some point today, I am going to get my teeth fixed so I can actually speak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but you know, it really is. And a differentiator is a key. I think too often people don't realize that and you know having done some work with some really good uh, CRO you know conversion rate optimization folks one thing that always stuck out especially for the smaller Shopify stores is offering the you know kind of putting up that banner that says 100% satisfaction guaranteed or here's our policy you know yep. especially for the newer smaller ones because a lot of time people are hesitant I think even especially with the amount of fake goods that are on Amazon yeah there's there's a lot of fake goods and you know we all um, whether you love or hate it Alibaba is out there and it's you know it's putting out a lot of good products but also some not good products and, and differentiating yourself even down to and I never you know being from the UK we don't take pride in many things so having the uh, <laughs> made in America stamp is also a really big thing and I struggled when I first came over and working in the industry to really understand why that mattered. Um, since I've been here for 11 years, I get it. Yeah. Totally understand it. And I think that is a huge, huge flag to raise if it's, it's part of your your uh, your business model. Absolutely. Um, even down to promoting if you're vet, veteran-based uh, business. Yes. Having that kind of... Um, stamp on there as well it, again it helps to add validity to your products and your services and it also just helps elevate you and differentiate you from others absolutely and then you know that kind of ties right into the uh, an interesting uh, one of the other articles I thought that was really interesting was the you know Forbes one about why podcast should be your top marketing priority next year yeah it's funny isn't it like podcasts are taking off left right and center everyone's kind of been doing them everyone listens to them uh, so you know it kind of makes sense to start thinking about how you can leverage podcasts in your marketing strategy um, again it's all about content mm -hmm. honestly and, and and accessing people in, in ways that they want to hear or consume that content so whether that's through your blog whether it's through video and we had that great uh, guest last week Wendy Salzman of talking about video um, apply that to your podcast like it's the same idea it's the same thing it's a matter of getting your brand out there getting your tone out there your voice and uh, really pulling people in in every possible channel and when we talk about marketing strategies and you think about it logistically Kevin and I both talk about uh, surround sound um, you know if you've got your destination which could be your store or your website or your e-commerce site whatever you whatever you've got every piece of uh, activity that you have around or outside of that is all about driving people to your single destination so you have to have that broad coverage from your social media your podcasting your vlogging you know whether you've got influences on youtube like leveraging those everything driving back to that one singular destination it's all about content and it's all about 
consistency. It is, and then content and consistency, the two C's, it seems to be, you know, it's a great way to kind of break it down into a simple way to look at it. It's really being consistent and creating, consistent in creating content, yep. you know, is kind of the uh, gold fact, gold standard for taking your business to the next level. Yeah, and, and setting up a podcast can seem very daunting if you think about it, right? Mm-hmm. You know, wow, I'm going to be broadcasting, I'm going to be recording. Um, but it doesn't have to be that difficult. Um, I'm just sitting here looking at our rather impressively sized microphone in front of us that we use for our restreaming. Now, you know, something like the, uh, like what we have here, uh, it's a pretty good um, USB-based microphone. It's got a great ar- uh, amount of pickup, so both mm-hmm. Kevin and I can talk through it fairly easily. Uh, how much did something like that set you back? I think it's actually cheaper than you would think. It was... I I'll give a free plug, I guess, for Amazon on their Genius Prime Day. I think it was the first Prime.